Dear children, so do you remember the different different tenses that we had done? So tenses as in the time, remember that? So वैसे ही हम करेंगे present tense को in more details. So that's the chapter now which we are going to focus on. It is called the present tense. Okay? So hello kids. The present tense refers to the actions that take place in the present time. So अभी जो actions हो रहे हैं वो होते हैं present tense. टेंस में ओके सो द प्रेजेंट टेंस इज डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर टाइप्स अब उसके भी चार टाइप्स होते हैं फर्स्ट इज सिंपल प्रेजेंट और प्रेजेंट इनडेफिनेट टेंस सेकंड इज प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूअस टेंस थर्ड इज प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस एंड द फोर्थ वन इज प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूअस टेंस चलो देखते हैं क्या है और हाउ डू वी डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन देम फर्स्ट वन simple present tense okay the simple present tense is used to describe an action that takes place on a regular basis okay and to state universal truth so jo action regularly ho rahi hai okay or jo universal fact hai wo hote hai simple present tense mein okay the pre simple present tense is used to talk about one habitual actions or routines For example, this train always leave at 10 p.m. So we can say that Rohan goes to school at 7 a.m. So this is like a normal routine. Okay, she always speaks the truth. Okay, so this is like a habit. They never stay up late at night. Again, this is a habit, a ritual that they follow every day. That they sleep, uh, they sleep early. They don't stay up late at night. Okay. Now they talk about general truths. Okay, for example, the Earth moves around the Sun. That's a fact. Okay, the human body has two hundred and six bones. Water freezes at zero degrees centigrade. Okay, next, simple present tense is used to talk about something that is true in the present. For example, I am thirteen years old. She works in a private company. Trees shed their leaves in winters. Okay. Next is for future events that are fixed or part of a timetable. Okay. The morning train leaves at six a.m. The flight is rescheduled for tomorrow evening. Our school reopens on twenty fifth of the next month. ओके okay? मतलब ये फ्यूचर इवेंट है बट इसका प्लानिंग पहले से हुआ है सो इट हैज बीन प्लान इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम ओके अबाउट एन इवेंट दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन द फ्यूचर ओके हेडलाइंस ऑफ एन आर्टिकल ओके और न्यूज आइटम जैसे प्रेसिडेंट अराइव्स टुमारो अ सडन हाइक इन ऑयल प्राइजेस तो हेडलाइंस होते हैं ना जो बड़े बड़े अक्षरों में होता है हाईलाइटेड होता है दो ज्यादा हेडलाइंस ऑफ अ न्यूज पेपर और न्यूज चैनल्स ओके सो दीज आर ऑलवेज ओके इन द सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस ड्रामेटिक डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ इवेंट्स द फिल्म इज फुल ऑफ ह्यूमर एवरी टाइम वी वॉच इट इट कीप्स आस लाफिंग फॉर अ फुल थ्री आवर्स ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स आर फनी so it is like a description of the events and dramatically okay verbs which express state possession feelings okay for example the rose smells sweet i love reading funny stories we have a cricket kit i appreciate your efforts so yahan pe aapne dekha you are like you know expressing your feelings like appreciation love okay you're talking about a state that smells sweet okay or possession that we have a cricket kit all right so now let's look at the structure of different different types of sentences affirmative negative and interrogative i play i do not play and do i play so this is in simple present tense you play you do not play do you play he plays he does not play does he play she plays she does not play does she play it plays it does not play does it play we play we do not play do we play they play they do not play do they play okay now let's get smarter by doing the exercises 
Fill in the blanks with correct simple present tense form of the verbs given in the brackets. Okay. The villagers dat down the trees. The villagers cut down the trees. Wo paise hi rahega. Okay. Second, we dash our clothes ourselves. We wash our clothes ourselves. Water dash in winter at zero degree centigrade. Freeze. Water freezes in winter at zero degree centigrade. Okay, clear? Now, Naman dash to see the photographs. Naman wants to see the photographs. Clear? Now, quickly do the remaining by yourself. They're pretty easy and I'm sure that you can do it quickly. Okay, but do reread the concept before you start attempting the exercises. Now, let's move on to the present continuous tense. Okay, this tense refers to an action that is taking place at the time of speaking. Okay, like let's look at the uses. The present continuous tense is used to talk about actions going on at the time of speaking. For example, I am writing a letter to my father. The farmers are plowing their fields. So, this action is happening at the time of speaking. So, uh, suppose for example, you are writing something and somebody comes and asks you, what are you doing? So, you say, I am writing a letter to my father. So, that action is happening. You are writing at the same time you are responding to that person. Okay. Next is short-lived or temporary actions. Just say, I am reading a novel written by Prem Chand these days. She is preparing for her exams nowadays. So, it's like a temporary action. Aaj kal mein uh, Prem Chand ki kahaniyo ka, uh, ki kitab pad rahi hoon. Ya aaj kal mein apne exams ke liye prepare kar rahi hoon. So, these are uh, a short lived or a temporary actions. Okay. Definite future plans. So, matlab jo future plans bana rahe hain, wo definitely hone wale. Okay. Wo wale plans. I am meeting my friend this weekend. Okay. She is going to London this month. My father is arriving by the morning train tomorrow. Next is frequently repeated action with words like always, continually, constantly to express annoyance or criticism. Okay. Chalo. You are always complaining about your homework. Okay, so here we do what we do? That person is continuously complaining. Daily he complains about his homework. Ke bare mein. So you are talking about uh, frequently repeated actions. Okay, the twins are constantly arguing with each other. So it's like a repeated action which keeps on happening. Okay, next is trends. Okay, more and more people are turning to yoga. The forest cover is shrinking day by day. Okay, now these are all exam uh, different different types of present continuous tense. Okay, next is temporary actions. Sheila is working at St. Andrew's School for a year. Leela is staying with her aunt for a week. Okay, now let's look at the structure of this. I am playing. I am not playing. Am I playing? You are playing. You are not playing. Are you playing? He is playing. He is not playing. Is he playing? She is playing. She is not playing. Is she playing? It is playing. It is not playing. Is it playing? We are playing. We are not playing. Are we playing? They are playing. They are not playing. Are they playing? Okay, now let's do the exercises. Fill in the blanks with present continuous form of the verbs given in the brackets. Priya and Reshu dash in the party. Okay, Priya and Reshu are dancing in the party. Okay, the master dash his servant. The master is beating his servant. So rude, so cruel, right? Yeah, I do agree that it's very cruel. You can't beat your servants. You have to be kind to them. Okay, children? So now next one. The milkmaid dash milk for us. The milkmaid is bringing milk for us. Clear? Chalo, ab baaki sentences jaldi jaldi apne, jaldi jaldi complete karo. But read the concept before you do that so that you don't miss mistakes and don't get confused. Okay, children? So now next one. Present perfect tense. Okay, this tense describes an action that started in the past but has just completed. 
सो so, पहले ही एक्शन शुरू हुई है और अभी जस्ट खत्म हुई है ओके सो लेट्स लुक एट द यूजेस द प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस इज यूज्ड टू टॉक अबाउट रिसेंटली कंप्लीटेड एक्शंस द रिजल्ट्स ऑफ व्हिच आर फेल्ट इवन इन द प्रेजेंट ओके ही हैज शेव्ड ऑफ हिज बियर्ड ही इज नाउ क्लीन शेव्ड आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटन 10 इनविटेशंस आई एम स्टिल राइटिंग देम ओके Next is personal experiences or changes. For example, Supriya has done her post graduation in oceanography. Fatima has done a course in embroidery and knitting. So this is like personal experiences or changes. Okay. Next is past actions whose time of action is not known or is not important. Okay. A collision has occurred outside my house. कब हुआ है उसके जानने की जरूरत नहीं है ओके अ बस एंड अ ट्रक हैव कोलाइडेड अगेंस्ट ईच अदर ओके और मे बी वी डोंट नो व्हेन दैट एक्सीडेंट हैज टेकन प्लेस ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट एक्शंस दैट बिगन इन द पास्ट एंड हैव कंटिन्यूड इन द प्रेजेंट विद स्टेट वर्ब्स लाइक बी हैव लाइक नो लव एक्सेट्रा ओके वी ऑफ्टन यूज फॉर और सिंस इन दिस केस I have known Nagaraja since 2018. So Naina has adored these shell combs since the time she first saw them. Okay? Let's look at the structure. Affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences ka, okay? I have slept, I have not slept, have I slept? You have slept, you have not slept. Have you slept? He has slept. He has not slept. Has he slept? She has slept. She has not slept. Has she slept? It has slept. It has not slept. Has it slept? We have slept. We have not slept. Have we slept? They have slept. They have not slept. Have they slept? Okay. So now fill in the blanks with the present perfect tense form of the verbs. given in the bracket okay do you know who dash this wonderful essay okay do you know who has written this wonderful essay okay our teachers dash the answer sheets our teachers have corrected the answer sheets okay so essay hi jaldi jaldi baaki sentences bhi aapko complete karne okay now let's look at the next type of present tense which is called present perfect continuous tense Okay now this tense describes an action that started before some time and is still being continued or and are still continuing okay so let's look at the uses the present perfect continuous tense is used to talk about actions which began in the past and continue up to the time of speaking for example he has been watching tv since morning so subah se wo tv dekh raha So that means that action is still happening. Okay, I have been teaching my students for two hours. Okay, now second point is, oh, they used to talk about past actions of certain duration with visible results in the present. For example, he has been walking in the rain. That's why he's got a cold. He has been ignoring his studies for some time. that is why he is not done well in the tests next is to express anger or annoyance okay someone has been fiddling with my phone okay so gussa aata hai na kabhi koi koi cheez apki cheez ko koi haath lagata hai to aap us pe doubt karte ho ki shayad koi to meri cheezon ko haath laga raha hai okay right so that is something which is in the uh, present perfect continuous tense when you are expressing that okay Sudha has been trying to wake me up since the minute I fell asleep. Okay? Now, let's look at the structure. I have been sleeping. I have not been sleeping. Have I been sleeping? You have been sleeping. You have not been sleeping. Have you been sleeping? He has been sleeping. He has not been sleeping. Has he been sleeping? She has been sleeping. She has not been sleeping. Has she been sleeping? 
it has been sleeping it has not been sleeping has it been sleeping we have been sleeping we have not been sleeping have we been sleeping they have been sleeping they have not been sleeping have they been sleeping okay now remember we use since to show that something has been happening but from a specific point of time okay in the past for example i have not met ashima since 2018 okay i have been working here since last one year okay we use for to show a period or a duration of time for example i have known somya for 10 years raman has been studying for two and a half years okay now let's do the exercise to understand how much we followed what we've learned so far okay complete these sentences with the present perfect tense or the present perfect continuous tense forms of the verbs given in the brackets okay gopal shifted to this area last week and already make several friends in the neighborhood okay Gopal shifted to this area last week and has already made several friends in the neighborhood. The author dash translates several stories from Hindi to English this year. The author has been translating several stories from Hindi to English this year. Okay, clear? So now, jaldi jaldi, आपको बाकी sentences करने. All right, now let's move on to the next one. Fill in the blanks with the present perfect or the present perfect continuous tense form of the verbs given in the brackets she dash with kids for many years she is working with the kids since many years okay or she has been working with the kids since many years or for many years he has gone to the hospital for an operation okay नेक्स्ट आपको सब अपने आप करना है ओके बच्चों द स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड डैश सिंस मॉर्निंग द स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड हैज बीन ब्लोइंग सिंस मॉर्निंग ओके नाउ क्विकली डू द रिमेनिंग सेंटेंसेस बाय योरसेल्फ एंड डू री रीड द चैप्टर ओके डू नॉट गेट कंफ्यूज्ड आपको सारे कॉन्सेप्ट्स अच्छे से याद करने ओके सो दैट इट बिकम्स इजियर फॉर यू वाइल अटेम्प्टिंग द क्वेश्चन और चिल्ड्रेन सो स्टार्ट